Let's look at the plants I have in my courtyard. So very simple courtyard. I think the previous owners tried to make it Spanish style and had flagstone here with some rocks in between. And then a lot of accents with Spanish style. Now, let's start with this. I think this is a good addition if you want to plant this for your house. One door with a rose coming out of the floor from this, this flagstone area. Uh, should be a climbing rose. And this one has been growing. Sometimes I have to trim it every year because it goes very high and gets to touch the, the ceiling there. But other than that, the proportions, you can keep it very short and just at the sides of the floor, at the sides of the door, so it's perfect enough for decoration. Now, keep going in here. There is a, a rosemary bush, an upright rosemary bush. There's different types of rosemary bushes, and this one is called the upright. And it's perfect if you have a, perf a little corner like that doesn't have big roots, so it won't go deep. It needs a little water only. So that's one. I added um, a big pot and a chair there and a bench. Now the big pot, I'm not gonna put any plants in there because it will, the drainage will affect the, the, the tile. So I'm just gonna cover it with a piece of wood and make it a table so we can put our coffee when we have breakfast in the morning or sitting here watching the kids playing. Now, this is a Mexican sage in a little corner. As you can see the proportions. This one is about five years old and it always blooms purple, purple little spears. So it's perfect for that corner. It gives a lot of color. Um, next to it is a rose. I'm gonna take it off because it really, next to the Spanish sage doesn't do much. Next, there is, this is the mosquito plant. I can't remember the name, but it's the uh, something lemon. And it grows big, it can go very big and you have to trim it. It's not a looker, but it does smell super good. So I like to keep it there. I don't think it does much for the mosquitoes. This one, I don't know the name. But this one here, it's a climbing, um, it's a climbing rosemary. And if you see, it comes all the way from down here, covering the, the outlet and the uh, sprinkler valve. So it's good if you want to cover something that otherwise uh, would be uh, a visual disturbance in your backyard. So this one is now two years. It's a climbing rosemary. Now you can look close. It is a rosemary and how it looks from, from a little afar. Now this is a different rose bush that I have to keep trimming in order for the flowers to come more vibrant every year. And it has some, some roses coming out here. And next to it is a new addition. It's a grafted mayor lemon tree. So it is already four years old. I just transplanted it in here. Now with grafted trees, the intention for this one is to, to train it for one of the branches to go high and the other ones to go to the left. So we'll add more, more of that trellis in the back, but it's just for the decoration, for the aspect of making this, this courtyard look a little more Mediterranean or Spanish-like. Now, if you look at this in perspective like this, it looks like this. Oh yeah, let's, let's keep going through it. Now, so this, I think there's no wrong in putting a lemon tree somewhere in a courtyard. Now the decoration for this one is very simple. So these ones are just orange bricks surrounding the uh, the planter area. These ones are 
Spanish style, very easy to take care of. Now, the other side of this has a fountain that is very difficult to keep with water because the kids keep putting their toys, um, they keep messing up with the uh, the motor. So for now, I just have it with a lot of, of these ioniums in pots. The ioniums are growing inside pots and they get this big, just in pots. So I really don't need to do much with these ioniums. I, I have to change, I have to cut them from time to time, like every six or one year. Um, but other than that, little water, it looks great. And next to it, it's um this is a man what's that called hmm you guys know i don't remember but anyways this jasmine jasmine it can grow this this is a very slow growing vine for me within this climate southern california and i'm thinking that i'm gonna try to let it grow tall and maybe surround the um uh, the fountain. So here, there is a combination of a jasmine in the back, an upright rosemary bush, and different succulents at the bottom. Now, because this gets to a, a hallway there, I, I still have to work on this, but this one here is how you will have growing a this is a, a grafted mandarin tree. The variety is gold nugget. It grows um, very compactly. The, all the leaves grow very close together, upright for what it looks to me. This is a four year old growing in a big pot. And it gives fruit already. It looks very pretty, but it's not very bushy. It um, it grows, as you can see, it's just growing. It seems like it grows upwards. So I, I think it's good to, to keep in this side of the house because this is ultimately where I want to have it covered because here is where I place the um, the trash cans. And this one here is a honeysuckle tree that's growing in a big pot. I think this is like 50 gallons clay pot honeysuckle and it gets very orangey um, parts of the year. Now, the other part of this back here has uh, a pinkish or cinder blocks wall and this bougainvillea. Now this bougainvillea has been trained to grow as a tree and it grows very fast actually. I have to trim this every three months and this is how we look in, if you have it for seven years. And I do have to say that even if it's trained to grow as a tree, you have to add, you have to add securements for this. For example, for this one, I have these tension cords here in the back and I added um, these bolts on the wall that are easy to place but just keep that in mind because otherwise this bougainvillea gets very heavy and can fall uh, forward. But when, once it gets bushy, it covers all the cords. It is not noticeable. But overall, this is this is how my little courtyard has my plants. I like it. I think it could it could be better. Uh, it could have more um, more color. But the way it is right now, I think it matches the style. Um, I love fruit trees, but I wouldn't add more fruit trees in this area. I think this area is just for, for to have a space for the kids to play.